Hi everyone and welcome back to your Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how do we get rid of acne using only products from the ordinary. And I'm focusing only on the ordinary because it is one of those products which is very very affordable, very high quality, easily available across the world. It is one of those few brands which has completely revolutionized the skincare world. It has even impacted the way we look at skincare because a lot of the products from the ordinary they work extremely well, but only as long as you know how to use it and if it is the right one for you. So today I'm going to focus only on acne prone skin. Uh, I'm thinking if I should make more videos just focusing on the ordinary because really the the number of products that they have targeting different skin concerns it's just amazing and some of these uh, ingredients that they use they're not even very easily available in other brands so I won't talk about all the amazing things about the company the ordinary itself we'll just get straight into the products that are very useful for people with acne prone skin so I'm going to start with a nighttime routine because nighttime is really when the skin repairs itself when really the whole body repairs itself so if we can help along our skin with using really Really good products then that's going to change the game for us so the first step to a good skincare routine no matter what your skin type is going to be a good effective and gentle cleansing and I focus more on the gentle aspect of cleansing because you know typically a lot of the things that are available in the market for acne prone skin they are so overly stripping they have such high amount of alcohol and it doesn't always work so I'm going to focus on cleansing the face effectively and really the best way to do that is by using a two-step method. The first one is to use an oil-based cleanser and that that will help you know melt away any makeup or sunscreen or just all the dirt and grime that would have accumulated during the day. Like even our skin produces a lot of oil right. So we want to be able to melt away all of that using oil an oil-based cleanser really. So the ordinary really only has one cleanser and that is an oil-based cleanser. It is their squalene cleanser. So that can be used as a first step to cleanse the face. Uh, the important thing to note with the squalene cleanser or any other balm or oil-based cleanser, you need to first warm it up in your hands and then apply it because it, the texture is a bit thick and you need to kind of melt it into an oil consistency and then apply it. And um, another thing that holds for really every oil-based cleanser out there is that once you have applied all of the oil, it's also necessary to wet your hands with water and then uh, rub it all over your face. What that will do is it will turn all the oil into kind of a milky solution. It's kind of emulsifying the whole thing. By doing that, you're assisting with the next step. And the next step is to use a gel-based cleanser or a water-based cleanser. Uh, my favorite ones are the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser and the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I think if you're in your teens or your 20s, uh, you could try out the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. But if you're 30 and above, then maybe the Hydrating Cleanser is a better option. I use the Hydrating Cleanser because I'm well over 30. <laughs> so uh, use the foaming or the hydrating cleanser. So that took care of our cleansing. Now let's start with the real deal. So we're going to exfoliate the skin at least three times a week. And the best way to exfoliate for acne prone skin is by using salicylic acid. So we'll use the ordinary 2% salicylic acid solution. And to start with, I think you should only use it as a spot treatment. Wherever you feel there's a blemish or there's a pimple coming up or you already have some existing breakouts, you can apply it on those spots only. Occasionally, like once a week, it's okay to use it all over your face. But just remember that every time we use an exfoliator, it makes our skin more sensitive to the sun. So if you're applying this BHA solution at night, the following day, make sure you use a sunscreen. And what this 2% salicylic acid does, it unglues all the gunk that you have and it will bring it onto the surface that can be sloughed off. And a BHA or a salicylic acid solution is the best way because the other kinds of exfoliator, they do not go as deep into the skin as a BHA does. So that's why people with acne prone skin are typically recommended a salicylic acid or a BHA solution. Next, we're going to tackle the scars that are left behind by these pesky little pimples and also try and even out the skin's texture. And for that, The Ordinary offers the niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% solution, toner, serum, whatever you want to call it. This is actually their best-selling product. I know of some people who started their 
you know this anti acne routine using all of ordinary's products and over time they have switched to other products they just got bored of it but the niacinamide is one of those things that they refuse to let go of niacinamide works really well to improve the skin's texture to reduce the appearance of large pores dullness fine lines so overall i think everybody can benefit from some niacinamide in their skincare routine especially those who have some acne scarring left behind and the niacinamide serum is good to be used all over the face it it works really well next let us provide the skin with some hydration like i said a lot of the times the anti acne products that are on the market they generally strip the skin so much and a lot of the times the skin has to overcompensate for all of that loss of moisture by overproducing the oil and that kind of creates its own vicious cycle and we need to break that cycle we're going to break it by giving the skin some hydration and the hyaluronic acid serum is the best thing for that the hyaluronic acid is what we call a humectant so it draws moisture from the environment i did a whole video talking about hyaluronic acid and the right way to use it but really all you need to know is that after applying hyaluronic acid we need to apply something on top something like a a moisturizer which will stop all the hydration from being lost from our skin so i'm not going to use any technical terms here because i feel it's already an information overload so i don't want to overcomplicate things for you so hyaluronic acid is the third step in our routine and we're almost there um like i said we need to top up the hyaluronic acid with some sort of a moisture barrier and for that we have this ordinary's natural moisturizing factors plus hyaluronic acid so this also has some amount of uh, ha or hyaluronic acid so this is a very basic no frills kind of a moisturizer and uh, it doesn't have any fragrance it doesn't have anything irritating so nothing to complain about here i will say that if you live in a humid environment then you can skip this one altogether um you know if it feels greasy if it feels congested then you don't need to apply all of these things i would say definitely stick with the bha solution three times a week followed by niacinamide and the hyaluronic acid if you live in a humid environment then just skip the moisturizer you don't need it so that was our nighttime routine we are nearly there it's going to be simpler in the morning i promise um so in the morning if you feel congested if you feel uh, you need to wash your face go ahead and wash it um i would say maybe just use a hydrating cleanser um but if you do not have that creasy feeling that kind of a congested feeling then maybe just splashing some warm water is enough so in the morning if you have washed your face with the cleanser then follow it up with the niacinamide the hyaluronic acid and also use the buffet this is the multi technology peptide serum this helps not only with hydration but also has anti aging benefits because peptides really are a chain of amino acids which form the building blocks for the protein we have in our skin such as collagen elastin all of the things you know that we need to have a young youthful plump and bouncy skin the buffet does have some of the ingredients that will help with it so i think it's a good idea to use it twice a day if you can just after the hyaluronic acid serum so try and add it in the morning routine and if you enjoy it then maybe include it for the nighttime routine as well just after applying the hyaluronic acid serum so where were we so for the morning we're going to start with cleansing either with a gentle cleanser or just with water follow it up with niacinamide hyaluronic acid buffet and sunscreen so the ordinary doesn't offer sunscreens as yet but one sunscreen that i've heard great things about especially for oily acne prone skin is crave beauty's the beach shield so that is an important step that we need to follow in the daytime routine so that was a lot of information i'll summarize it in the description below but basically to summarize nighttime cleanse using double cleanse method spot treatment using the 2% salicylic acid solution niacinamide hyaluronic acid buffet if you enjoy it and a moisturizer if you want daytime cleanse if you want otherwise wash face with just water follow it up with niacinamide hyaluronic acid buffet and sunscreen it seems like a lot of steps but really you're investing in your own skin so try it out and i hope it works for you and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next one bye